Hello everyone, welcome. Thank you for joining. According to the World, Her World Health Organization, um, heart disease is the leading cause of death, um, even right now. And since February is Heart Health Month, I thought we would um, do a sequence to give our hearts some attention and love. And this practice will help to strengthen uh, the heart, uh, improve circulation and respiration, blood flow, etc. And of course, yoga and meditation, relaxation is, is really beneficial in releasing stress, which is one of the key factors of, of heart disease and many other ailments. As always, listen to your doctor. Check with your doctor before you start any yoga or any other exercise program, especially if you've had a recent heart episode. But according to my training and, and the practice that we're doing today, it, it will be gentle, but the standing postures, you can practice them still um, with shorter holes and practicing carefully, really listening to your heart and your body. But do check with your doctor first. And we will also be doing, I will be sharing um, Apan Vayu Mudra um, with you, which is set to, to help with uh, heart palpitations, uh, high, blood, high blood pressure, uh, chest pains, and it has even said, it says in my book that it also helps to, during, uh, when you're having a heart episode. But please remember, these are all extra holistic practices. Always listen to your doctor and practice what they tell you to do. In addition, you can add these practices. So let's get started. Uh, we will need, keep your props. You may need a chair if, if, you're, if you're used to using a chair. For the standing postures, keep it near you. Um, otherwise, uh, I will probably need a belt in case you can't do, do the cow's face arms pose and blocks and cushions, just have everything nearby so you don't have to pause the video later on. I think I've got everything covered, so let's get started. And the breathing that we'll be doing today is also on my channel. There's a Shitali breathing, which helps with heart um, function. Uh, we'll be doing alternate nostril breathing, and there's also Brahmari, which is good for the heart. So find your comfortable seat. And then we'll take our hands in that Upan Vayu Mudra, which is you will take your tip of the index finger to the base of the thumb. So I'll just come closer if you can't see. So the tip of the index finger to the base of the thumb. Then we fold the thumb over the index finger and touch the tip of the thumb to the tall finger and the ring finger, okay? The baby finger is straight up. So tip of the finger index to the base of the thumb, fold the thumb over and then touch the tall finger and the ring finger together. And that's up and Vayu Mudra. And we'll Find a seat, comfortable, relaxed position. This mudra helps to decrease, increase the earth element and decrease the fire and air element in the body. Take a few quiet moments first to arrive into our body, into our space. And just become aware, as always, of the state of your mind. Noticing the thoughts. And knowing that the thoughts are not who we are. We're the one who is watching the thoughts. We're the sky, the clear blue sky behind the thoughts or the clouds. Clouds will come and go, thoughts will come and go, but we remain that pure awareness, blue sky.
Notice how you're feeling in your heart, your emotional heart, your physical heart. Having a soft smile on your, the corners of your mouth, smile behind the eyes. Smile at your heart. Notice how you're feeling physically in your body, head to toe, inside out. Notice the quiet around you if there is any, or just listen to the sounds without judgment. And I have used this mudra a few years back. I was experiencing some palpitations and anxiety at, at, some, to at some point. And I still often come back to it when I feel that coming on. And I use this mudra and it does really help. For me, anyway. Relax the, the hands and fingers, even though the mudra is, is being used. Stay relaxed. You can do the mudra at 15 minutes at a time for a total of 45 minutes throughout the day. <clears throat> and then we will release the mudra. You can practice that on your own, your own pace. And we'll just do some alternate nostril breathing to get us started. So again, here you can do the Vishnu Mudra, which is taking the index finger, the tall finger into the palm, or just use your thumb and ring finger to open and close the nostril. Other hand can be, maybe we can do the Up and Vayu Mudra again with your left hand. Or keep the, actually let's do the Apanvayu Mudra with both hands. If you can, otherwise keep your hands free. Close off your right nostril. Inhale through the left. And exhale through the left. And then close your left. Inhale right. Exhale right. And now we'll close the right again and we'll begin the Nadi Shodhana or alternate nostril breathing. Inhaling through the right, uh, left nostril first, using the three part breath, expanding the belly and chest. Close off the left nostril when you've taken your breath in and exhale through the right. Inhale right. Close it off with your right thumb. Open the left and exhale through the left. Inhale left. Close it off with your pinky finger or ring finger and exhale through the right. Now you'll go at your own pace for this last one that I guided you with, you'll inhale right and exhale left. Now we'll just do a few more rounds on your own and in peace. If your nose is blocked for any reason, sinuses, etc., just do the three part breathing and you can have one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. And then you, and using the three part breath, inhale, expanding the, the belly, the rib cage, and chest. Exhale, chest in, ribs in, and lower belly squeezes in. <clears throat> Continue the three-part breath, even if you're doing the Nadi Shodhana breathing. And this helps to also strengthen the heart, the lungs, 
Massage the abdominal muscles. Strengthen them as well. Inhale, bringing in light and love. Exhale, releasing tension, stress. Let's do one more round, please. Stay relaxed in your whole being. On your last round, you will end with the exhale on the left nostril if you're doing the alternate nostril breathing. When you're done, close your eyes, keep your eyes closed and listen to these words of wisdom if you like. This one is by Rumi. He said, there is a candle in your heart ready to be kindled. There is a void in your soul, ready to be filled. You feel it, don't you? There is a candle in your heart, ready to be kindled. There is a void in your soul, ready to be filled. You feel it, don't you? And I really like this one. It doesn't say who it was, but it said, always listen to your heart. It may be on the left, but it's always right. So take a moment to set your intention for your practice. What do you need today? Why are you here? Is it to release stress, to strengthen your heart, improve your blood flow? Say to yourself, quietly in an inner voice in the present tense. I am or I intend to find peace, feel peace. I intend to strengthen my heart, for example. Repeat it three times. And then release your expectations and your intention. And I forgot to mention that I will also be using some affirmations from Louise Hay's book for the heart, for any, this is, she said that these are for any, for the heart and heart problems. So we'll start with our first pose. Here you can roll your blanket. Yeah, let's do the blanket would be nice so that everybody has the same kind. And this is also in one of my yin yoga for the heart and lung meridian. You can do that another day if you like. Place the blanket at the top of your mat, rolling it, and then you'll lay down on it so that your bra line is on top of the blanket or right close to the lower shoulder blades. And then drop your head back. You can take your arms wide at letter T position or arms back if, you're, if your shoulders are okay today. And option here to have your, your feet together to get into the hips. So do what feels right to you. We'll stay here for a little bit using it as a Yin style pose, even though this is the Hatha yoga practice. Just wanted to get into the heart meridian first before we start our practice. So relax here and just breathe. Experiment with having your arms to the side, wide in a V shape, or behind you and see what feels good for you and then completely soften the muscles. 
And just let go and breathe. Using deep breathing, which also helps to improve the intake of oxygen and blood flow in our body to the heart. Really relax, try to soften your eyes, your face, your jaw. Shoulders and arms. So if you're feeling it in your hips, you're normal. I'm starting to feel it in my hips a little bit. As long as there's no pain, a little bit of tension is okay there. Otherwise, if, you, if it's too much for you, straighten your legs or put blocks underneath, but straightening the legs is good so you don't have to get up. Long, smooth breath in, long, smooth breath out. Really relax. Deep breath in. Exhale, releasing all tension and stress and worries. So when we're working with this Area, we're working with the Anahata Chakra or the Heart Chakra. And it's said that when the Heart Chakra is, is blocked, then we end up having heart problems as well. So we're going to be doing everything today is to open up this area and to help move things, shift the energy. So we'll finish a couple more breaths here. And remember, you can always do the yin, heart and lung meridian practice another time. I'll try to remember to put a link in the comments below. If your knees were open, close them. Slowly bend your elbows and bring them to the side. Roll over onto your side. Release the blanket. Straighten your legs and just take a moment to feel the rebound of this fish, supported fish pose. And then begin to stretch your arms out and begin to just circle your ankles and your wrists. Once again, we're starting to unblock the energy channels with this movement, Bhavan Mukhasan, wind releasing poses, also call that, and the next one we're doing the same. Flex and point down. So just by doing the flexing of the feet, you're starting to pump blood to the heart, the calf muscles said to have a second Heart pump there. So just by doing this, and you can do this movement with the flexing of the feet at your desk throughout the day. Exhale with the open mouth sigh. Notice how you feel. I can feel the flow of blood already. And then take your right knee to the chest. Hug it in and take a few breaths here. 
Again, remember to breathe deeply. So as you inhale, you're expanding the lower belly, the rib cage and chest. As you exhale, chest in, mid belly in, and lower belly squeezes in. So this helps, as I mentioned before, to help move the blood and invite more oxygen into your system. This pose is also good for heart health. If you're able to tuck your chin in and bring your knee and nose towards each other, taking another few breaths here. If not, stay down. Listen to your body. Hold behind the thigh if that's what's needed. Get into your back and hips as well, and then release. And other side, left knee in, breathe in, and breathe out. Inhale, I'm aware of my heart. Breathing out, I smile into my heart. And that's from our beloved Thich that Hand Buddhist monk meditation, breathing meditation. Breathing in, I'm aware of my heart. Breathing out, I smile into my heart. And then tuck your chin in and come towards your knee if that works. Also good for the stomach area, this pose, lots of benefits. And then release and notice how you feel. And then, <clears throat> as you're on the floor, I'm just going to show you seated up so that I don't um, touch my mic. So you're going to bring your fingers onto your shoulders like this, but you're lying down and doing it. It's a really nice massage for the upper back. It gets into the shoulders. You're just going to inhale, try to touch your elbows together. Exhale, bring them down. If you're doing this on a chair, same thing. Okay? So while you're lying down, it's a different feel. Inhale and exhale and notice the massage that you're getting in your upper back. I really like it, but I'm going to just do it sitting up because I know that it starts to make a lot of noise. And opening up the chest and the heart area here to help for our practice today. And then switch directions, going the other way. Long, smooth breath in and long, smooth breath out. So I forgot to mention that if you don't have time to do the whole practice today, I wish and I hope that you will do it. But when you're short on time, just picking a couple of the poses, seated poses and a couple standing poses, relaxation and breathing is will make a big difference. So when you're done, notice how you feel. And then we're going to do another pose that helps to bring trauma to the, your life, increases the life force energy, and it's a boat pose. It's an upright boat pose. So do the best you can. Have your hands beside your, your, your hips, take a breath in, and as you breathe out, tuck your lower belly in and up, navel in and up, lift your head, shoulders off the floor, and then lift your feet off the floor, even if it's just an inch or half an inch, take your hands up, and stay here for a few breaths if you can, if you can't stay, 
for three breaths. Do one breath at a time and repeat. Breathe in, breathe out. Try to have your feet, your head in one line. Inhale, exhale, and relax. Cleansing breath, open mouth, sigh. Can you feel the flow of blood towards your heart? And remember to practice carefully, doing short holes if you've had a recent episode with the heart. Let's do it one more time. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, engage your core. Lift your head, legs, and arms. This is Nok Asana. If you're feeling very strong in your body and have no heart problems, take your arms back. This is a little bit advanced version. Otherwise, keep them down and then release, cleansing breath. Whoa, taking the arms back really makes it a little bit more challenging. Feel, what do you feel? And then bend your knees, just do a few windshield wipers to release the hips. Taking the knees to one side and then the other, look the other way with your head. You can even do it seated up as I'm going to do again because of the mic. And then we're going to come up and do Gomukhasan. So here you can you may need your strap. So sit on your edge of your blanket or block. Straighten your legs. Cross your right leg over the left and you can do this half version for your legs if the full version like this does not work okay so the left heel is close to the right hip and the right heel is close to the left hip straighten your leg if it doesn't work so here we're getting into the hips to give some more stress release and you'll need your strap here <coughs> excuse me Take your right arm up, take your left, your strap behind you on your left shoulder. We've done this, there's another video again. Take your left, right hand to the shoulder blades, turn your left thumb down, grab hold of your fingers or the strap. And we'll stay here for a few breaths. So again, this is the Hatha yoga that we're doing in yin we the yin one that I have we hold it longer we're going to try to stay here for three to five breaths five breaths at least hopefully again this is getting into the opening up the lung area the heart the chest the arms which are an extension of the heart and added Bonuses for the hips. To re we carry a lot of stress in the hips. Breathing in. I'm aware of my lovely heart that does so much for me. Breathing out, I smile into this beautiful heart. In. Heart, out, smile into the heart. You can smile into your hips as well. Breathing in, I'm aware of my hips. Breathing out, I smile into those hips. And then we'll release. And remember, you can always stay longer. Just pause the video. Straighten the legs. Take a moment. And then we'll switch sides. Taking the right knee over the left, doing it half um, cow's face, 
with the leg, left leg straight. Oh, I think we did this side already, right? Sorry, so left knee over. And then take your right heel back towards the left hip. Or do the straight leg version. Strap can be on the right shoulder this time. Take the left arm up and back. Right hand, arm be to the right side. Turn the palm down. Take it behind you and grab hold of your fingers, your strap, whatever is available to you. Do not push yourself into any postures. And then soften your whole body. Flex your feet to protect the knees. Long, smooth breath in, into my whole mind, heart and body. Exhale, I release tension and stress. Again, remember that deep breathing, and if you know the Ujjayi breathing, or the victory breath, adding an audible hissing sound at the back of the throat, also known as the ocean breath. Add that to the three-part breathing, if you know it. Sitting nice and tall, but soft. Great release for the shoulders as well. One more breath. And then release the pulse, straighten the legs. Take a moment to feel the effects of this posture, cow's face pose or gomukasan. And you can do this as a yin practice from the channel. Okay, so let's come on to hands and knees now. And we'll come into cat cow. Typical postures. And here you may need um, a blanket for your for your knees. If you're doing it from the chair, then you can have your hands on the seat of the chair and you're standing. Arms under the shoulders, knees or over the hips. And then round your spine into cow, pull the belly in, and then inhale, lift the heart into cat. Exhale in, rounding, inhale up. Reaching the heart up, throat up, exhale in. Going according to your pace. Even just doing this every day is really good for all the chakras. Do the practice with kindness and compassion towards yourself. But just do the practice, even if it's a little bit. From here, we're going to move into lunge pose. So I'm going to put this block underneath my knees for the lunge. Or maybe I'll try it without the block and just use the blanket. Here, you may need your chair to put your hands on or your blocks or a bolster if you, if you need it. So again, bring your right foot forward <clears throat> and your knees. Back knee on the blanket. Try to have your ankle and right knee in line. And then if you need to hold on to your to your bolster, go ahead and do that. Engage your core, lower belly in and up, navel in and up. Feel the nice deep stretch. So we're stretching the psoas muscle, which is connected to the diaphragm, which helps with our breathing. 
So when this is open, then you can breathe better and you get more blood and oxygen into your heart. Inhale, light, love, exhale, stress and tension. And if you're feeling strong in this Anjanasana lunge pose, take your right hand on your heart, left arm up. And you can repeat this affirmation. My heart beats to the rhythm of love. My heart beats to the rhythm of love. And if you, are, you can have both hands on the heart here too, one hand on the bolster, listen to your, your heart and your body. And lift your heart up a little bit. My heart beats to the rhythm of love. And then slowly release. Take your time. Coming into puppy pose for stretch here before we do the other side. Head can be on the bolster. Arms straight up, forward, you're on your knees, forehead, on the floor or block or cushion. Exhale, open up the side. And then come onto your hands and knees again. Bring your left foot forward, close towards the bolster and again first hang on to the bolster or cushion or chair stay here for a couple breaths engage the lower belly in and up and the belly button in and up to work those core muscles to protect your back you can tighten the back leg and glute When you're ready, bring your hands to the knee. This time, the left hand on the heart, right arm up. Take a little back bend if you're able to. And my heart beats to the rhythm of love. My heart beats to the rhythm of love. And actually feel it and send the love into your heart. Caring for the heart that you have, it beats for us, does all the work even as we sleep. And then one more, my heart beats to the rhythm of love. And then come to release back into puppy pose, Anahata Asana. Again, getting into the shoulders, the arms, the heart. Drop the chest down and engage the belly a little bit. Calming the mind as well with this. Couple more breaths, please. And then coming up to a forward bend. Again, if you're using the chair, have your hands on the chair. Just drop your head down. Bend, bend one knee and straighten the other. You can have your hands on your shins or your thighs if you need to as well. And breathe here, getting into the back of the legs. Deep breathing, please. So your right knee is bent, left leg is straight, feet are in the same line. Listen to your body. Modify the pose if you need to. Let's change the bend. Bending the left knee now, straighten the right leg and drop your head down. Again, here we're calming 
our mind with this posture and calming the heart, sending blood flow towards the brain, releasing tension in the hamstrings and in the back. One more breath, please. And then we will come up nice and slow, coming into mountain. Notice how you feel. And then take your arms, standing hip width apart, take your arms wide, fingers can be pointing forward. So when you do this, you'll notice that you'll feel a stretch on the the top of the arms. So your arms are wide, fingers pointing forward, thumb pointing forward. And we're getting into, again, the heart meridian, meridian here. And take your left ear to the left shoulder and then just move your head up and down. Relax your face, your shoulders, or just stay on one side if that feels good. I picked this up from a Qigong video and I really liked it. So every extra bit helps. And then come to center, arms are the same and right here to the right shoulders. Drop the shoulders down, shoulder blades down and back. And feel the stretch in your neck all the way into your fingers. Inhale, I'm aware of my heart. Exhale, I smile into my heart, sending it love, oxygen, and attention. Slowly release, and then bring your hands to the heart. We'll do some sun breaths. So inhale, arms out to the side, up, palms together, and exhale to the heart. Inhale, out to the side, up and into the heart. You can look up and then look down if you like. One more. You can feel when you're working with the arms again, you're getting into the heart area. Take a moment to feel. And then we're going to do some half sun salut salutations before we do our standing postures. So again, hands to the heart. Inhale, arms out to the side and up. Do a little back bend, not much. Exhale, forward bend. Bend your knees here. Inhale, bring your hands to the shins. Look up. Exhale, come down again. Inhale, arms out to the side. Up and back, little back bend, and into the heart, okay? Inhale, arms to the side, up and back. Exhale, forward bend, bend your knees. Inhale, half lift, look up, hands on the shins. Exhale, down. Inhale, bend the knees, arms out to the side, up and back. And into the heart. Let's do a couple more on your own. If you get confused, it's okay. Just go back and then down and then back and down again. Last one. And take a moment to notice how you feel. Feel your heart beating. Maybe have your hands on your heart. Telling your heart that you love it for beating, for doing its work. Pumping blood to the all, all of the body, every cell. And then we'll come into warrior. Warrior one. 
take your right leg forward and left leg back. If you're using the chair, you can have your right knee touching the seat of the chair. So your left leg is back at, at a little angle, like on a train track as if. Bend your right knee over the right ankle, swivel the hips forward as much as you can. And then inhale the arms out to the side and up. Take your arms as close to the ears as possible, shoulders up and then shoulders down. And then do a little lift of the heart. Tuck your lower belly in, belly button in and up, and then breathe. And remember for this one, practice carefully and with short holds if you need to. We're not going to be here that long. We're strengthening the legs, strengthening the heart with this posture, improving circulation and respiration. Finishing up with your last breath. Feel the strength that you're creating in your heart, your legs, your whole body. And then release. Take a moment to feel. Cleansing breath. And then we're going to do the same side. Um, warrior two. So same leg position. But this time you're going to take your arms out to the side. Palms facing up and then palms facing down. And really hug your arm muscle to the bones for the legs and the arms. Look at the tip of your right middle finger. And then find that breath. Deep breathing. In. Breathing in, I'm aware of my heart. Breathing out, I smile into my heart. And actually bring a smile into your heart. Remember, if you have had a recent heart, like a heart problem, do this practice carefully and with short holds. So just one or two breaths is even better than nothing. Or if it, remember to check with your doctor. You might have to wait three months or even six months before you can do anything. I'm not a doctor. And then slowly release. Exhale, and you notice how that made your heart pump a lot. Take a moment to give it some rest and love. And then we'll switch sides. Left foot out 90 degrees, right foot in about 45 or, or so. Swivel the hips forward for warrior one. Virabhadrasana one. Hands can be even on your hips if it gets too much. Listen to your body. Inhale the arms out and up. Tuck your belly muscles in, navel in and up. Do a little lift of the heart if that works for you. My heart beats to the rhythm of love. Follow your breathing. And then release. Pause for a moment. Exhale, cleansing breath. Feel your heart, mind, body, soul. Feel that heart pumping right now. You can hear it. And then warrior two, same leg position. Hips are forward though this time, palms, arms out, palms up, and then turn them down. And then stretch those arms. Remembering that the arms are an extension of the heart. Tuck the belly muscles in and up. Smile. 
into your heart. This is really good preventive heart health yoga. And then finish up, bring your legs together, take a moment and feel. Exhale, cleansing breath. And then if you had your strap, before we move on to tree pose, which is another pose that will help to improve the circulation and respiration, let's just do standing yoga mudra. If you can do it without the strap, you'll just interlace your fingers like this, engage your core, bend your knees, and bring your arms forward. If you're using the strap, hold them shoulder width apart, and then come up like this. So go ahead and do your version. Just breathe and smile. Couple more breaths, please. And then tree pose, come up to standing nice and slow. You're going to shift your weight to the <clears throat> standing hip width apart. You may need a chair to hold on to. Shift your weight to the left leg. Find your right heel at the left ankle or at the calf. Find a spot to look at that's not moving. Above the knee or right at your inner thigh. Do what works best for you. Hands can be at Anjali Mudra here or in Lotus Mudra, which is tips of the baby finger and thumbs touching and thumbs towards the heart. Other fingers are open like the lotus flower, inviting the heart to open here. If this doesn't work, just do Anjali Mudra, one hand on the heart, one hand on the chair. Imagine the lotus bud opening to the light, blooming. I am open to transforming light. I am open to transforming light. And then release. Again, this posture also helps to, as I said, increase the circulation, blood circulation and respiration. Relax. And then switch sides, ground that right foot. Find your leg position as you did on the other side. Find your mudra, Anjali mudra, or lotus mudra, or no mudra. You can actually even take your arms up, maybe have a lotus mudra at the top, or a prayer pose at the top this time. When the arms are up, you're working the heart a little bit more, so... Listen to your body. Soft smile at the corners of your mouth. Breathing in, I'm aware of my heart. Breathing out, I smile into my heart. And then slowly release the hands down and take a moment to pause. Cleansing breath, relax completely. Feel yourself from inside out, from the hands, the feet, your face, the whole body. Align with sensation, breathing, thankful to the heart, gratitude to the heart.
and then you can if you're feeling energetic you come down to transition with the downward dog otherwise come straight to the floor and we're going to move into camel pose you can actually do camel pose standing if if it doesn't work for you on your knees or the other variation is you can do cobra so I'll just or sphinx pose so if you can't do camel bring your hands underneath the shoulders like this and you'll do cobra so choose what you want to do shoulders down and back I chose camel because it it actually really gets a lot into the whole area here the chest but cobra is good too but we're going to do a variation anyway so have your hands on the heart just want my affirmation here and then engage your core and then take your attention your head back and breathe here if you are wanting to do the full version you can even use your cushion behind you to modify and have your hands on the cushion like this or blocks lift the hips forward shoulders back head back listen to your heart listen to the body that's wanting to what what the body's wanting to do and the affirmation here is joy 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 I lovingly allow joy to flow through my mind body and experience joy 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 X actually makes me feel better when I say that I lovingly allow joy to flow through my mind body and experience when you're ready come down or stay for another few more breaths again joy 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 I lovingly allow joy to flow through my mind body and experience when you're done either pose you'll come into child pose and here you can have your forehead on your cushion again child pose is another one we're going to get into the back of the heart and the massage is the front of the heart here with this pose if you're able to go all the way down great if not do what works arms can be forward or behind you at your feet I find close to my feet it really gets into the back of the heart and the upper back stretch let's stay here for five breaths please relax completely your face your jaw shoulders your heart your lungs So this posture naturally massages the heart. So it's really good for heart patients, for everybody. Very calming for the mind, releasing stress and tranquilizing the whole nervous system. couple more breaths please and then we're going to come into bridge pose to finish up so bridge pose you can actually even do supported bridge with your cushion if you want to you can have that underneath your your bottom and again do it this way 
or you can add it at towards the end. But otherwise, you can do the active bridge. Bring your fingers close to your heels. Your legs are hip width apart. Tuck your lower belly in and up, navel in and up as you breathe in. Exhale, lift the bottom up and lift your heart towards your, your chin. Press all four edges of your feet into the mat. You can even interlace your fingers here if it's available to you or keep your hands flat. Squeezing the shoulder blades together if the hands are interlaced. And breathe. Again, listen to your body. If you need to do the supported bridge, please honor and respect the heart that is here in your body. Even in the active bridge, you can just stay for three to five breaths or longer if you're able to. Release, you can release down into the cushion if you want or just rest on your back. Joy, joy, joy. I lovingly allow joy to flow through my mind, heart, body and experience. Hmm. So if you don't, if you do have your block underneath your sacrum, that's great. If you, if you don't, please do put it and we'll just lift our legs up just for a few breaths into a variation of shoulder stand. Allowing all the blood old blood to flow down and get refreshed. Again, you can do things like legs up the wall as well for stress release. Good, good. That's a really good posture for the heart health as well. My heart beats to the rhythm of love. And then we're going to move into Shavasana. So bring your bolster underneath your knees for any back sensitivity. Cover yourself up with a blanket for relaxation pose, Shavasana. <clears throat> and try not to skip this because, again, relaxation is, in fact, more important than, not more important, yeah, but for me, it is more important than doing the postures, actually, for stress release. So let's go ahead and lie back down. Your... Arms are as wide as 30 degrees, palms facing up. <clears throat> really get settled here. And feel the body resting on the floor. the floor touching back. Feel the front of your body, clothing and air touching your skin. Feel the left side, the right side. Feel the space around you. Breathing in, I am aware of my loving heart. 
Breathing out, I smile into my heart. So taking a, a few moments to smile into your eyes, your mouth, your whole head. Soften and smile into your throat and shoulders, down into your arms, fingers and hands. Smile into your armpits, your chest, your lungs and your heart. Smile into your belly. Relax and soften here. Smile into the hips and pelvis and your bottom. Pelvic floor. Smile into the legs, the feet. And feel the aliveness and smile into your whole body now. Feel the body as a whole. Completely relax now. And let go. Nothing to do. Nowhere to go. Just relax. I am this loveful being. I am a pure, peaceful, loveful being. My 
my heart beats to the rhythm of love. If you do have time, please do stay longer. If not, begin to circle your hands, your feet, head from side to side. Bring your knees into the chest <clears throat> and just roll from side to side. And then just drop your knees to the left and just do a little quick twist to the looking over to the right, knees to the left. Take one full, loving, deep breath in, into your heart. And loving breath out, releasing any leftover tension. And then switch sides. Knees to the right, look to the left. Inhale, love. Exhale. Inhale, tension, stress. And then roll over to your right side. Stay for a couple breaths. And then come up to sitting, closing meditation. <clears throat> your hands on your heart close keep the eyes closed and anahata means the heart chakra or the heart the center it's the center of the unstruck sound so let's bring our attention in towards the heart behind the heart away from all our sense organs, the outer world, and just tune in to the pure silence of the heart, just for a few more moments. Look into your heart and tune into the pure silence of the heart. taking a moment to thank your heart for all that it does for us. It beats so many eats per day and up to two or three million billion in your lifetime beats. Thanking the heart, sending it love. I love you. Thank you for all that you do for me. Hands in prayer pose or Anjali Mudra at the heart now. Dropping the chin towards the heart, towards the light, towards that pure silence and the light within. May all beings always feel peaceful, calm and stress-free. May all beings be healthy and strong and may all beings remember their divine nature with each breath. Namaste. Thanks again for doing this practice. Please do share, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And even just do it, just do a little bit of it if you can't do the whole practice, but do it often. Thank you. See you next time.